Hello YouTube, it is Halo Rama here again with another Jurassic Park toy review. Today I'm doing the Lost World um Chasmosaurus, I think it's called. So let's get on with the review. Mine is not mint in the box, but it is the next best thing because it has very, very few space smudges and no chip marks at all. So it's like just new out of the box. I didn't think I was gonna like this figure as much as I did, but as uh, much as I do actually, but I like it a lot. It is really, really, really neat. Um one of the things on one of the things about it is it has very, very small horns to for a dance in the Triceratops family. But I actually did look up the Chasmosaur and it actually does have this very small horns. And the company, Kenner or Hasbro, whichever one was making these toys, gave it a pretty good code name, Plate Face. And it does have a very large Taurosaurus like plate face. And another thing you can notice, obviously, is this was not in the movie. This dinosaur. And there is a couple dinosaurs, other, there's a, a couple other dinosaurs that weren't in the movie that can understand, can or still, or Hasbro still makes them because, one, we like dinosaurs, and two, they want more money. But, I really do like this one and I'm very impressed. I mean, Jurassic Park always has the best dinosaurs. Hands down. Best. Anyway, my camera's running out of battery, so I need to make this short. Um, one of the things I kind of don't like about it is its mouth is wide open. I can even stick my finger in there. And its eyes are really wide. It looks like it's running away or scared. I guess. And that's pretty much it. My electronics do work, and what you do to activate the electronics is on the leg with the JP mark, you pull it back. His head will lift up and he will make the war. Let me see if I can get that thing closer. Here's where the sound comes out. So, yeah. Now, he's not that small. I mean, he does have a decent size. One thing you will notice is that the Baranox they made is extremely way too small. It's like it's like an infant Baranox, but it's named the adult. There is no infant. So here he's in comparison with the Robert Muldoon from the first movie. But it doesn't really matter because the first and second movie figurines are all the same size. And here is a comparison with his cousin, the Triceratops. Now this is one of the few dinosaurs that didn't come with any capture gear. Oh yeah, if you don't want to use the sounds but you still want it to live it set up, just if you do it manually it won't make the sounds. So yeah, this one didn't come with any capture gear. That's pretty much why I'm doing a review on it, because I basically have it mint. But it depends what the figure is. I'll do it if it's not mint. Depends how important it is. How much I like it. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it about the Chasmosaur. Now... If I'm pronouncing it wrong, don't get all mad and write hate comments. Just correct me. Just do one of those things where like, you spell it out. Like they do in the books. So, yeah. 
This is the review on the Chasmosaurus. Halo Rama. Signing off. Bye, YouTube. Have a nice night or day, wherever you are. Don't care. Bye.